Greeting from Michael Spring Farm. 45 days. Uh, we're going to the blooming room to check for the pupa after the incolation we do. And these are the results. We choose uh, two different kind of the layer to put them to observe the moist for all of the process. So in uh, this box, we can see the material inside is a mineral and it's called uh, vermiculite. And if you want to see the other one, it's moss. And we prepare a little bit uh, before we put the moss in water, clean water. And after they soak the water, we can use them as a layer to keep the moist inside the box for developing uh, the footing bodies on the pupa. Now you can see how the pupa have inside the cordyceps and she developed the foot bodies outside from the body again this is 45 days after we do the incolation and this process called the blooming Beautiful uh, food bodies, very beautiful food bodies. Can you show this one? Uh, we choose the vermiculite because it's uh, looking now a little bit dirty and uh, maybe some of the viewers will ask so how do you clean so it's so easy you take just only one brush and you take out very easy to clean and you can have a beautiful product after that Beautiful. Yes. And you know my opinion that uh, when we see the, the moss, very clean, no harmful, keep the moist, um, very convenient to use the moss for uh, keep the moist content. If we go around a little bit more, we do a uh, lot of the things in here, like in the jars. It's like uh, to build for them a terrarium. Most of the people call this method terrarium. But for us, it's a uh, very nice, beautiful to see how they develop inside. And you can choose no different kind of jars or container to grow them inside. And have a good day. <laughs>